All right, what's going on there, guys? What is happening? So, Zeno, Zeno battery, Zeno battery no more. Dan took it completely apart, pulled the case apart, everything. Wanted to have a look at the battery inside. Mine failed. For those of you guys who don't know, these things don't come with balanced chargers, and I didn't want to buy the balance lead. So, I wanted to modify this thing, but still make it so that you could take hobby grade batteries, which put me on the endeavor of looking up YouTube videos, and then I came across a couple that I was like, well, that could be done better, but at the same time, most of them look like they work just fine. My question was, is it still going to read voltage without the balance leads connected? And the answer to that is yes, it does read voltage. So, it's so easy. All you have to do is the right outside pin, if you're looking at the bottom, the right outside farthest pin to the right is plus, and the farthest pin to the left is negative. And as you guys can see how I did that, little audio clips, went down to Advanced Auto Parts, bought some audio clips, and uh, went ahead and pushed those audio clips on there, and then I soldered on an XT60 connector, which later on I'll probably change to a Dean's T connector. Uh, because XT60 is a little rough on these contacts trying to pull them on and off on and off but uh, Dean's T is just much easier however it's solid now I want to tell you I just flew this thing right it's the day after the hurricane we got some tree work going on it's in the AM and uh, you'll notice that I took the bottom of the battery cover off uh, see what I'm saying took the bottom of the battery cover off and I put it back in there so that when I put my batteries in there it still holds it like a tray so that's only a 1500 mAh battery and I, I am quite impressed by the flight time I just had um, I had 11 and a half minutes landing at 30 percent on a 1500 mAh 45C 3S however it doesn't seem necessary this thing got an insane flight time out of a very tiny battery I could essentially just use all my 3S drone batteries on this thing and get you know almost 12 or 13 minute flights out of those. Now, remember, I was hovering almost the entire time, so factor in that I wasn't moving. It takes more energy to hover, for those of you guys know, than it does to keep your drone on the move. Um, if you're moving in a directional path, it's not having to sit there and hover and rely on the sensor so much. So, for those of you guys with the Hubson, this is a very good mod. You can see plus outside right and negative outside left. The two outer pins just make sure that there's the contacts in the middle do not touch you can see that I put uh, shrink wrap on both sides of mine very very simple to do and uh, the answer is yes it does read voltage I went for my first flight didn't give me any warnings battery meter worked just fine on the app it counted down it started at a hundred went all the way down to thirty percent I got you know eleven almost twelve minutes of flight um, and landed at 30%. I probably could have pushed it more, but I really don't want to because I use these drone batteries for other things. But now I can just run this on hobby grade batteries. And the nice thing is, you can just unplug this if you're going to sell it to somebody else, and they can go right back to using the stock battery if they want to. Or you can tell them it's much cheaper. I just bought two 2200 ma uh, Ovonics batteries for $26, brand new. And I have a feeling those are going to get me probably around 16 to 18 minutes of flight time on those. Um, and $26. I mean, it's still cheaper than buying one of these. Uh, it's still under. And I get, you know, same flight time almost. Uh, but two batteries. So I get double the flight time for half the money. Right? Just makes more sense. This is why I do open source stuff and hobby grade stuff. So it really wasn't hard. I didn't really need the videos to figure this one out. Uh, I could have just grabbed my voltage meter and checked it, but I wanted to see if there was a video out first. But I did have my questions. Is return to home going to work? Is it going to give me battery warnings? And the answer to all of that is no. It does give you your standard battery warnings. It counts down percentage based on voltage really easily. I'm not sure it's 100% accurate, but it does. It does work very well. I was just outside, I got an insanely good flight time. I'm going to recharge this battery. Now that I know that I can fly with this, we're good to go. We're going to take it out and do some more testing. But as of right now, it is that simple to modify the Xeno. So, so real quick, that literally was the tiny little battery that I had in this thing. That, that was it, a little tiny 3S. Nothing huge, nothing major. And uh, maybe this will give you a better idea now. You can see the battery case is loose and uh, shows you just how easy it is to make a connector. Real fast, bam, you're done. Ready to fly, just take your hobby grade batteries with you. These little ones get insane flight time. Look, 11.1, .1. this is a fluorine 11.1 .1 at 1500 mAh. So it's actually half the capacity of this battery. And it's, I mean, it, I mean, it's obvious. 
it's weird that they've managed to get so much power out of this little uh, high voltage pack because they're almost the same size. However, like I said, this did give me a really crazy long flight time for being a standard LiPo, uh, not high voltage. But uh, it also has a 45, or I'm sorry, a 35C push. So this actually has considerable amount of power. This is a 35C battery. This is only an 8C battery. So this definitely has a lot more power punch. If you were trying to fight the wind, it would be ideal to have something like this. You just gotta be careful. Don't go too large because then you burn the ESCs trying to make it fight it. So but there you go. I just wanna show you what it looked like, the battery that I was using after I pull it out. And just show you this, that's the tray. That's the bottom of the battery tray. So I just set it right at the back of this it pushes against that and then I just slide this right into the drone like a boss which I can actually do right now if I can get this to stand up I'll show you how easy that is so make sure the battery's in the back give it a little push it'll pop in just like a normal battery clips right into place and then I just connect boom so easy nice tight fit not going anywhere done <laughs> Eat, 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 eat,